Okay, so this is just a little video explaining some of the questions from a diagnostic test um, I made for MYP4. Uh, first question, simultaneous equations. Solve 3x plus 2y equals 32, 5x plus 6y equals 64. So I'm just going to write that down here. Um, 3x plus 2y equals 32, 5x plus 6y equals 64. So those are two equations, and you've got to find the x and the y that works in both. Um, and you do that by elimination, by multiplying up the equations to make the x or the y the same. So I'm going to try and make the x's the same, for example. Um, could make the y's the same, but I'm going to make the x's the same. So 3 and 5 both go into 15. So I'm going to try and multiply both equations up so that they've got a 15x in them. Okay, so, so to get from a 3x to a 15x, I'm going to have to multiply everything by 5. So everything in equation 1 is going to be multiplied by 5 so that I get 3x times 5 makes 15x, 2y times 5 makes 10y, and 32 times 5 makes 160. Um, then I want to make everything in the second equation um, multiplied up so that it's got a 15x in it. So at the moment it's got a 5x in it. I want to turn that into a 15x. So I'm going to multiply everything in equation 2 by 3 so that I get a 15x in it. So 5x times 3 gives me the 15x. 6y times 3 would give me the 18y. And 64 times 3 will give me 192, I believe. So now I've got two more equations, which I'm going to call 3 and 4. And they've both got the same amount of x in. So what I can do is subtract one whole equation from another to eliminate the x's. Now, because the numbers are bigger on the bottom than on the top, I'm going to subtract... Uh, the, the bottom minus the top. So I'm going to do equation 4 minus equation 3. So 15x take away 15x makes the x's disappear. 8y take away 10y, sorry, 18y take away 10y gives me 8y. And 192 take away 160 gives me 32. So that gives me an equation 8y equals 32. And I just need to divide everything by 8 to get that y is 4. So I've eliminated the x's in order to help me find out the y's. Or the y. Um, okay, so having done that, now that I know what y is, I'm going to substitute that back into equation 1. So equation 1, all the way at the very start, was 3x plus 2y equals 32. And now that I know what y is, that becomes 3x plus 2 times 4 is 8 makes 32. 3x plus 8 makes 32. I'd like to get the bit with x on its own, so I'm going to take away the 8 from the left. And to maintain the balance, I've got to take away 8 from the right as well. So 3x equals 24. That's just taking away 8 from both sides. Okay, 3x is 4. I want to know what just a single x is. So I divide everything by 3 and get x is equal to 8. So x is equal to 8 is the answer to that one. And then what I like to do is just check it in the other equation, equation 2. So my original equation 2 back at the start was... 5x plus 6y equals 64. 5x plus 6y equals 64. Now that I know that x is 8 and y is 4, I can substitute those values in. So that becomes uh, 5 times 8 is 40. 6 times 4 is 24. 40 plus 24 equals 64, which is correct. So it all works out, and we know we've got it right. Okay, question two on the simultaneous equations. 
was um, just a little bit harder because it had some decimals and negatives in. So uh, 2x minus 4y equals 1.6 x plus 2y equals minus 0.4. So there's lots of ways you could do this. Um, I noticed that there's x in in the second equation and 2x in the first equation. So what I could do is just double everything in the second equation so that that's got a 2x in it as well. So there's lots of different ways you can attack these. You can make the x's the same, you can make the y's the same, you can add equations, you can subtract equations depending on the circumstances. But what I'm going to do is take everything in equation 2 and multiply it by 2. So that instead of x I get 2x, instead of 2y I get 4y, and instead of minus 0.4 I get minus 0.8. Um, I'm also going to write just above it to remind myself the original equation of the original first equation 2x minus 4y equals 1.6. So that's my pair of equations. I've left the first one completely alone, but I've just doubled everything in the second equation. And I'll call those equation 3 and equation 4, even though 3 and 1 are just the same. Okay, so there's a couple of ways I can attack this now. I can, I can notice that they've both got 2x in them and just do everything in equation 3, take away everything in equation 4, or the other way around, 4 minus 3, equation 4 minus equation 3. Um, another thing I've noticed is I've got a, a 4y in one of the equations and a minus 4y in the other equation. So it might be easier in this case um, to just add the two equations together add equation 3 and equation 4 so that, so that I get 2x plus 2x equals 4x minus 4y add 4y just disappears when I add them together and minus 1.6 add minus 0.8 gives me plus 0.8 I prefer to do it that way in this particular case because subtracting equations from each other you start to get minus minuses and you can get a, a bit lost in all the minuses. But anyway, 4x equals 0.8, divide everything, so we've eliminated the y's, divide everything by 4, and you get x equals 0.2. So that's the answer for x, 0.2. And then I'm going to substitute that back into equation 1, all the way from the very start. So equation 1 was 2x minus 4y equals 1.6. I now know that x is 0.2, so that becomes 2 times 0.2 is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 minus 4y equals 1.6. I'd like to get the bit with, with the y on its own, so I'll take away the 0.4 from each side, and I'll just be left with minus 4y equals 1.2. Then I just want to know what y is, so I'm going to divide everything by minus 4. So 1.2, check it on the calculator if you like, 1.2 divided by minus 4 is uh, minus 3 tenths, which is the same as minus 0 0.3. So y equals minus 0 0.3. Okay, well those are slightly weird answers. I'm just going to check them in equation 2. So equation 2 was x plus 2y equals minus 0.4. I now know that x is 0.2. I know that x is minus 0.3, so uh, that y is minus 0.3, so 2y will be minus 0.6 equals minus 0.4. So I've got 0.2 plus minus, which is the same as minus, 0.2 minus 0.6 equals minus 0.4, which is correct, so it works. So that wasn't any different in structure from the easier first example. It's just that the numbers were a bit trickier with decimals and negatives going on.